This is Alton Central School reminding you that the deliberative session will be held tomorrow, Saturday the 4th, at Prospect Mountain High School at 1 p.m. Child care will be provided in room 125 at the high school. We hope to see you there. Thank you. Mr. Carr, I have a concern. I heard that the phone system that notifies the parents about uh, school being canceled, et cetera, that system was used. A message was sent across that about today's meeting. Is that, is that accurate? Yes, it is. Well, I guess the answer was yes. So what about the rest of the community members? What? Is it ta this is paid by the tax dollars. All it did was notify of the date and time of the meeting. What about the rest of the taxpayers? There were ads. <clears throat> it was all posted in the newspaper. But it's different to be posted in a newspaper where everybody can see it versus someone get a, a phone call. We or tried. Email. We did try to get um, the ability to use our system to notify more than just our parents, but our license does not permit it. However, the select board could get a similar system. If yes. you could get, yes, there's a system that the select board can get. So perhaps you can bring that to the voters. But that didn't happen at this meeting. Correct. We do not have a license to allow that. So some other community were notified. No, everybody was everybody. notified. It was in the newspaper. I, I didn't get a telephone call. No, but you no. did see it in the newspaper. And I'm sure <laughs> given all the press that was there, I, you, voters would know. But, but for one group to get notified by phone, and not the whole community with a public taxpayer's dollar system, I don't think is correct. Everybody, if Are you making the assumption that every parent votes in favor of everything? No, I'm not. Okay. I'm asking about who was notified about the meeting. And it should be universally notified, everybody in town, on, on the system, not a few that sign up and some don't get it. It's taxpayer's dollar. It should be equal among everyone. And to just because they have a child in the school, they get a personal phone call saying there's a meeting, and the rest of us don't? I don't think that's correct. I don't think it's, 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 it's not fair to everyone in town. I don't think it should be used for that. If it's not going to be everybody, it shouldn't be anyone. We have always used flyers for that purpose, but those flyers cost more money. And the actual um, cost of the system is not any additional cost to send out that notification. We have saved taxpayers' dollars by not sending flyers home. Still. So you're saying it's okay that a, f a, f a select few get notified by phone versus other because you're saving money? We try to do as much education as we can. We are an educational facility. We like everybody to know. It's in the newspaper. Um, I believe the Bayside did a, did a really nice article with all of the Warren articles in there explaining when the deliberative session was. Um, I, you know, I, I think the more that, as long as we can get the word out, I think it's important. I don't think any way that the board is trying to get more of one person, one group of people out versus the other. Um, I, we work really hard at trying to inform everybody. I, 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 <laughs> it, it, it's wonderful to sit here and clap because you were the ones who were getting notified. But, but uh, I disagree. I disagree, Mrs. Noyes, that you are telling everybody when when you only have a few are getting a phone calls. It's not right to use that system to only notify a few people. Everybody should be notified equally. Mr. Miller. Okay, Mr. moderator. Thank you. Mr. Moderator, can I address that one concern that Mr. Carr had before she speaks? Yeah, I will. Mr. For the Board of Selectmen, I make the same offer to the school board. Is I'm willing to set up the town of Alton and the Alton School District, the free email system, free, no charge to the town or to the school district where anybody in this community who wants to sign up for email updates from the town or the school can get them. 
It's free. It's an email system that's used in marketing today, and I have the skills necessary, and I would be more than willing to assist the town in setting that up. It's very easy to use, very easy to learn. And again, again, at the end of the day, it's free. So if you had 12,000 users, excuse me, if you had 2,000 email addresses on your list, and you want to send it six times a month, it's free. So you can send up to 12,000 emails per month, and I'll be more than willing to offer my services to the town of Alton uh, and setting up a communica communication system where anybody in town can sign up. So if you have up to 12,000 users on the list, send an update once per month, it's still free. And again, I'm willing to work with the town of, the town of Alton, uh, as well as the IT department, their website team, so that we can set the system up for the community. Again, it's something that other communities do, where they have email blast coming out from the town administrator. I'll tell you the town of Durham does it. And I'd be more than willing, again, to offer my services and no charge to the town of Alton if they'd like to so they'd like to pursue that option. So my offer stands, you know how to reach me. Again, the service is free. Thank you. Thank you. Anna. Um, should I first? Pardon me? I just wanted to say, um, Mr. Carr, that I wasn't given a special phone call. I did know about this because I'm a supervisor of the checklist. I don't think anybody was given any special consideration I think that the more ways we can use to notify our citizens, the better. It was in the Bayside, it was in the Laconia Sun. You can lead a horse to water, but you can't make him read. And yes, I know that's not the aphorism. However, <coughs> as much as you try to get the word out, there are a lot of, going to be a lot of people who say, well, I didn't know that. <coughs> so this is one more avenue. I don't see that it was an issue. I do. And you're welcome to your opinion, as am I. Thank you. Yes. Just real quickly, as a parent with a kid in Alton Central Schools, you can opt out of the phone system. You didn't have to get a phone call. You didn't have to get an email, whatever. You can opt out of it. It's not mandated, mandatory. You're not made to get them or whatever. It's you sign up for them for FYI. They've always been an FYI. For your information, here's what's going on, here's what time. Nobody's ever said, come vote for this or come support this or, or you know, that kind of thing. Like, you have to do this. 